Well, the rain finally stopped, thank God. Because I think we're just gonna like go crazy indoors. And here, are, here are the puppies. We have Fez, which is the blonde, and we have Sparky, which is a typical looking, almost at least as far as marking go, a minpin. The minpin brothers. I think they're a little, a little over three months old at this point. And they are full of Vin and Digger. Okay, it's uh, Friday morning and uh, the 24th. We're just out in the backyard hanging out a little bit. And I wanted to see how, or show how they use the doggy door. Um, Sparky, uh, so far, he's been able to go in it. Um, and but he's not he doesn't have it really well practiced fine-tuned like uh, like uh, Fez does but um, he's he's getting there I mean it's just gonna take him a little bit longer um, probably a little bit of a slower learning curve hey guys come here buddies come on let's go up a fifth gap come on hang on here we go here we go go on in there Fez he might want to follow me in all right, so what I usually do is I tell them to wait outside the door so that I can go in to entice them in. That's usually what I do. So guys, wait. Wait now. Eh, eh, eh. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. And here comes Fez. Come on, Fez. There he is. And, and then the little other guy here, he tends to, he tries. He just hasn't got it worked out yet very well. I mean, he can do it. Because if I leave him alone or whatever, he'll definitely work it out eventually. But going out is a different story. I haven't seen Fez go out the door yet, but I bet he could do it. So let's see. Let's see if he'll go out. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Come on, Fez. Come on, Fez. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Fez. Come on, man. Let's go. Yo, Fez. Yo, Fez. Fez. Come on, Fez. Let's go, man. We're going. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Fez. Come on, man. Figure it out. So, it's just a process. Enticing them with treats would be okay. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll just open the door a little bit for them. So, that's how I was teaching uh, Fez. And he got it almost right away, really. Well, not right away, but close enough. So I have been working with these guys on a few different things. Of course, um, one of the big things was trying to, you know, get them to be quiet because they're just so noisy, um, which is fine sometimes, but after a while it just wears you down. But um, they're uh, they're getting they're they're a lot better. This one here has a high whistle whine that he's doing right now. Um, it's not real loud, but it's irritating, and so I've, I've actually been working with him on that. And it's just voice control, mostly just letting them know that he shouldn't be doing that. Sparky. Well, now he's quiet. Sparky. Eh, eh. Hey, Sparky. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Yeah, he, he'll keep going with that on that line for a while sometimes. All right, you guys wait. So the other thing was waiting by the door before I go in because sometimes I don't want him to come in. And that can be a, you know, I might not be ready for him to come in or... I may not have the gate up, or I want to get dinner ready, or whatever, so waiting by the door was really important, so here we go, guys. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, and don't let, don't let them rush the door. Wait, wait now. Wait. All right, all right. Okay, so now they're it, now I'm, I'm uh, on the inside here, and uh, the other thing I've been working on, let me put the gate up, uh, because they will, like, head out into the other part of the house and, you know, mess around out there, so... I wanted, the other thing I've been working on is getting him to go in the crate, and it's hit or miss. I mean, they're doing pretty well with it, but come on, guys. Here we go. Here we go. There we are. There we are. I have a lot of, like, uh, a lot of dialogues with my dog, when, when I'm working with dogs, because I, you know, 
it's just human for me to do that. And then they end up with a larger vocabulary. So it's just up to you. I mean, if you want a straight command or you want to try to get them to, uh, you know, do things for, you know, on a number of different uh, commands or just conversation. Come on, guys. Let's go in the crate. I just tap the top of the crate. Come on, guys. There you go. He goes in. He, he does that fairly regular. That's uh, fancy force. He does that fairly regular. He'll go right in when I tap the top of the crate. I'll let him. And then wait, buddy. Wait. Wait. He's really, really pretty good at that, too. Um, just sitting and waiting. Um, the sit command is still not really solid, but he seems to know when to do it on his own. Come here, buddy. All right, he's in. So there we go. I'm going to do a demonstration about how I can handle the noise um, in just a second. Okay, I'm uh, on the inside of the house now in the dining room where mostly I hang out with the guys when they're in their crate. That way I'm nearby and uh, they have my company, um, yet they're somewhat contained. I would not, of course, um, have them in their crate for any length of time while I'm in a, you know, far away in the house. If I'm in the house, I should be near them. Um, and they're being, you know, quiet right now, but I want to try to get them to bark, which I've never really done. This is the first time I'll do it on video where I'll actually try to get them to bark. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to make a little noise at the front door. I'm going to go out and make some noise and see if they'll actually bark. They remain mostly quiet, but sometimes they, they just get really rowdy or something sets them off. And then, you know, it's anybody's guess if they'll quiet down. But I've, I've developed a uh, voice control with them, and they, they respond very well to it for the most part. So let me do that. So I'm going out the front door now. Just want to create kind of a kind of a you know situation where they're probably going to make some noise. You see, it's limited. They're actually not even barking that much. Quiet, guys. Quiet. Nice, nice. Good job. Good job, guys. All right. All right. Hang on now. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Try it again. Maybe a doorbell. Is there a doorbell in this house? Here's a doorbell. Let's see if it rings. Yep, it works. I if you can hear him. Quiet, guys. Quiet. Eh, eh. Oh, that's, that's Sarah. That's the older dog. And you can see this over there. Get Sarah. I've worked with Sarah a little bit, too. Sarah. Good girl. And all I do with Sarah, you know, usually it's point at her. All right, guys, quiet down. That's enough. That's enough. So all in all, it's gone very well. Um, I think it's been less than six nights and whatever amount of days. And um, But they were really extremely rowdy dogs. When I started, very, very rowdy. You could see the dog walk that I did with them in the video. Um, guys, settle down. Hey. Hey, buddy. So getting eye contact or just talking to them for a minute will help a lot as opposed to, you know, Yelling at them, I mean, it's just best to try to get their get their attention, and and they know they're not supposed to be doing that. All right, settle down, guys. Settle. The wine there, we're working on it. It's just the same thing, you know. We got to try to get them to like chill. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy, talk to him. Chill, 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 chill. Um, but a lot of different dialogue or different forms. So if you're gonna ask me what what command I use, uh, you know, as you can see, there's a number of them, and that's up to you. I mean, basically, it's just when they hear or when they make a noise and you make a noise to ask them to be quiet, they're going to tie the two together. It doesn't matter what the noise is in this case, um, as long as it's something that's consistent and is at the same time or close to the same time that they're actually making the noise. And then you can actually work your way through it.